Hello there guys, so I'm back with another video and this video is going to be how to configure your Stream Deck whether that be the original Stream Deck, Stream Deck XL or Stream Deck Plus to work in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now this is useful because it will allow you to control things like the autopilot, overhead panel switches um, and see uh, various data from the aircraft and also things like move the camera around and select views and things like that. So especially if you've got a yoke, so I've got a TCA Boeing yoke and this just means I can interact with the aircraft without having to move the camera around, without having to find my mouse, click buttons um, and just makes those flows a lot easier. So to get this going uh, there's a few things you're going to need. I will put the links to everything you need in the video description below. So first things first you're going to need this bit of software called Axis and O's. Now this is a paid bit of software it's around I think around 20 euros on sim market there is a free version so you can download the free version follow along and just make sure that everything works before you drop the money on the paid version but you will need to get the paid version for this to work um, because the trial version I think is time limited yet yeah, so it shuts down after 20 minutes so you need to download this or if you're confident that it's going to work from the video then by all means um, purchase it and get that downloaded I'm not going to do it because um, I already have but go through sim market purchase it and you'll get a download for Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, which will look a bit like this up here so I've got the download here on my desktop run that and install it and you will end up with an icon on the desktop here um, if not and you only have it in the start menu then you'll have to just move it onto your desktop one thing you want to do straight away is right click go to properties go to compatibility change for all users and you want to click run this program as administrator so that every time you run it you don't have to do right click run as administrator so that's that installed next thing you're going to need is the Stream Deck plugin for Axis and O's which allows you to map Axis and O's functionality to the buttons and knobs on your Stream Deck on this page, same page, downloads page, if you scroll down you'll see here plugin for the Stream Deck I've actually just downloaded this and updated it because I was on a slightly older version and you can see some screenshots there of the kind of data that it allows you to present to the Stream Deck so download that again just run the installer um, in fact you don't even have to run the installer so you download like this you'll get this uh, Stream Deck plugin double click this it will open in the Stream Deck app and say it's installed obviously you have to have the Stream Deck software installed on your computer but sort of that's a kind of a prereq to this because if you've got a Stream Deck and you're already using it you're going to have that software if not you'll need to download and install the Stream Deck software uh, I can put a link to that in the description as well so you've got your Axis and O's installed you've got your Stream Deck plugin installed so now you need to get some profiles for your aircraft so I've got a few, in fact if I bring up my Stream Deck I've got uh, all of mine here so 737, 787, fly by wire um, the A310 and air traffic control uh, wind and weather that sort of thing and then on my plus I've got a flight sim 737, 87, 310 you get the idea down here and there's a little preview there I've got a nice little aircraft selection screen so where do you get the profiles from? Once again, I'll put a link in the description to flightsim.to and they've got a nice little Stream Deck uh, section with all the Stream Deck plugins. I always think it's handy to have new, either have it by recent releases, as you can see, there's actually a profile already for the PC12 um, or new updates. So I'm going to follow along with you guys on this one because there is actually an update to the PMDG 737 for so Stream Deck XL and Plus. You can see some screenshots there of all the different pages. Um, I actually already have this installed. It looks like that on my Plus, and it looks like that on my XL. You'll notice that a lot of these, so these start switches, are all blank. 
that will become uh, clear a bit later on. So what I'm going to do is say for example you wanted to 737 go and download the file obviously I'm going to get an update because I've already got it so we'll just wait for that to count down and get that downloaded not a robot start the download and there we go I'm not going to update my Stream Deck Plus profile because I've customized it a little bit and I, I don't have any I don't have any need to uh, oh, what did I do there I don't have any need to update it. That went well. Let's try that again. I definitely just accidentally deleted the download. That's better. Right, open the download. So I'm not going to, as I say, I'm not going to update the one for my Stream Deck Plus because I just don't want to ruin it. What I am going to do is uh, update for my non plus. So this PMDG 737 here. So I'm going to double click. And it's popped up in the the app. Um, it's named it 737 copy, which is fine. Um, and out of interest, let's have a look at my original one. Yeah, see, there's a lot more pages at the bottom rather than having rather than having folders. Interesting. So that ah, so it just moves you around the pages. Okay, maybe I will use this one. I'll have to see how I feel about it uh, in flight. But obviously, hat. What's useful is that it's named it copy, so I can go in here and I can name this. You know, PMDG seven three seven updated. Maybe move it sort of there. And when well, next time I fly next time I fly I'll have a go with this updated one again a lot of these are blank so the seat belts the start switches this uh, and, and some other things and you can see here that it's a Lorby's axis and O's um, action so how do you get these things to appear so what we need to do is we need to let's minimize that so we need to launch uh, axis and O's now I think because of how I've got this set, uh, it's going to launch Microsoft Flight Simulator, which isn't very helpful as I'm screen recording. But let's see what happens. So if I double click that, and it's trying to launch the game. Can I cancel it? Obviously, you won't have to do this because it won't launch your game. That's better, right? So that that happened because under application, I've got uh, start simulator. Um, I might actually turn that off, you know, because it's actually really unhelpful. So see, I've unticked that, and if I close, if I close it and reopen it, it now shouldn't. Let's just check that Flight Simulator is actually stopped, which it has. Run that again. Yeah, so it hasn't launched the sim. So, Axis and O's. Now we don't need to do anything with this. You want to click Application and you want to ensure that uh, MSFS Sim Update 12 LVAR processing is enabled, as well as uh, LVAR Hook Linked and Network Sim Connect. I think these were all default, but just it never hurts to check. And then what you want to do is come along to scripting and import scripts. And then in the Stream Deck profile that you downloaded, so here's my, if I find my 737 one, which I haven't extracted, that's why it's not. Let's just extract that profile into a folder. So if I find my Stream Deck profile, which is which is somewhere, why is that not showing up? Ah. 
Ah, because I'm looking in the wrong place. Wonderful. So, PMDG version 2. So in here, there's an XML file, Axis and O scripts. So you want to double click, tick the box, and tick import. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. So, you've got Axis and O's installed, you've got your scripts imported from your downloaded profile, and you've added the profile itself to your Stream Deck, and you've got the Axis and O Stream Deck plugin installed, which allows the Stream Deck to interact with Axis and O's and the simulator. So, what I will do now is I will, if I bring this up and use, we'll use this as an example. So, if I bring up my 737, again, you can see a lot of these are blank. So these are blank for the landing lights, the starters. What I will do is I'll pause the video, I'll load up the simulator, and I'll show you uh, that these now show data via the Access and O's and the Stream Deck plugin. I'll be right back. So uh, we are in the sim. Um, I've just loaded up uh, at Gatwick, nice and simple. And you will notice now if I bring up my Stream Deck, if I go to my 737 profile, you'll notice that all those switches that were blank have now come to life. So for example, these ones here for the landing lights. Now this aircraft only has one set of landing lights, as you can see here. So if I bring up the stream deck and press the, press the uh, button on my stream deck, And typically, I've clicked the one that doesn't work. There we go. Lights on and lights are off. And again, you can see the switch move in there and the light switch move in. Same with the runway turn off, same with the taxi light. Um, you know, you get the idea. So, speed brake, not speed brake, uh, the auto brake down here again and it updates to tell you where it's at so off one two three max etc if I then pop over to my stream deck plus and again load the profile and go to autopilot now the normal profile doesn't look like this I copied these images from a different profile just because I thought they look nicer um, but again if I spin this, you can see that the speed window spins. Same with the heading, same with the altitude. Flight director switches, auto throttle arm switches. All works as it should. So there you have it. That is how you connect your Stream Deck to work with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Obviously there are profiles for other aircraft, um, the fly-by-wire, the Phoenix. The process is the same. You still have to just import the profile and import the scripts file into Axis and O's and you should be good to go. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you've got any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. If you've liked the video, then please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want more content like this. I do have another flight video uh, on the way that I'm planning. In fact, I've got two uh, ideas that I'm planning for. Um, so stay tuned for those and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.